Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great. Are you bored? Great. What I'm going to do today is something off the top of my head. But what I was thinking of doing was getting LED strip lights and placing them along the edges all the way along and around the back. Same on that side. I'd have to remove that and these. Place them a little lower or something so that the thing could go across. But I'm not too sure if I want to do that. So right here we have something very special. This is a tweeter. That is a super tweeter. That looks as though it's not there, but it is. It's actually invisible. Now, the way this is invisible is that I'm lying. This is not a special speaker. I took this out, took a picture of it for Instagram, so it's on there if you want to check it out. And then at some point during the night, Pancake ran off with it. So I'm not sure where that is. However, this is still there. So we're going to play around with that. Now, although I say play around with it, I don't mean play around with it. I mean destroy it. First, I'm going to have to take this off. So this goes through the back of the speaker to keep this plastic thing in place. And this is actually off of a 6x9, which I repaired and then um, destroyed. Let's take that off. Okay, so this is glued on, which means it might not come off. Okay, so it's off, which is good. And this has zero flex. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this up to my amp and I'm going to bypass this capacitor right there. That is acting as a high pass. And we're going to see if it moves. All because I'm bored. All right, so this is how I'm going to bypass it. I'm going to put this onto there. Or maybe onto that part there so it doesn't move around too much. And then I want to get this lifted up a little bit and place that there. And now what I'll do is I'll place a bit of blue tech onto the back of this and that should keep this in place. Just put that down there like that. Lower the angle of the camera a little bit. All right then, let's see if we can get any movement. Low past that because it's kind of loud. Wow, it just popped right as I was speaking. Hmm. Anyway, kind of had to low past that because it was getting loud, which is what I was saying before it popped. And here we have another speaker. Sometimes what you can find happening with cheaper 6x9s is that the main cone right here, uh, when the volume's on really loud, can hit this tweeter magnet right there. Uh, that can cause, you know, obviously noise and stuff. So we're going to see if the same happens with this, because these were fairly cheap. Build quality was a bit meh, and that there is a fake tweeter. All right, so I'll just leave this here. Actually, I'll move it out of the way because I kind of need to move it. And I'll put this down there. There's a bit of a delay because it's going through my amp. I'm going to loop that. And here we have this looped. Now I need to add something else to it. All right, so I've just added this at the top. So those are kicks and snares. All right, so now we have these. These are 808s. All right, so here we have a quick thing that I made and back to the speaker. All right, so let's see how it sounds coming through this speaker. Now we're gonna try to see if this hits these magnets on the bottom. And if it does, we're gonna try to solve that problem in a way that you probably wouldn't wanna do if this was yours. What I'll do is I'll turn this sound down a little bit. Uh, the volume it was at is actually perfect for the track, but because we're doing it like this, it seems a little louder than it should be, but it's really not. All right, play again. doesn't seem to be making any noise.
That thing there seems a little loose. Could it be that? What I'll do is I'll remove the tweeters. Tweeter, there's only one, that's, that's fake. All right, so what I'm gonna do is really just chop this off from around there somewhere. And uh, that should be about- ah! Just kidding. Slice and slice. Now I'm gonna unscrew that. Wait a minute, I was going to use that, but instead I'll use this. That was so much quicker than this would ever have been. All right, so that's that off. Now let's test it again. And here we have a custom bass by nine. Let's see if we still get the same sound. could probably turn off the low pass, uh, but that's still making a sound. Let's fill this up with vapor and play. Seems to be doing fairly well, started to get smelly. In conclusion, we haven't learned anything. The vibrating sound has now sort of cut down a little bit. So maybe the tweeters had something to do with it, but you really don't want to do this if you have one of these because then you'll have no tweeters. So I'm bored still, what am I going to do? No idea. Okay, so what we have right here is a split in the voice coil. That could be causing some sound, I guess. It doesn't actually make any sound when I push it in, but if I push any harder, I'm going to make a sound because that is sharp. Let's try a frequency sweep, 80 hertz to 10 hertz. All right, well, it felt nice. Other than that, we haven't really achieved much, have we? All right, so I've increased the volume. Let's try to sweep again. smoking. If I try that again, it's going to blow. Let's put that underneath it. Is it going to blow? Smoking. I want to raise it a little bit because it's vibrating my desk like crazy. Should we try that again? Pancakes looking at it. Oh, 
Okay. Sparked a few times. That's a bit more space saved in my room. And here we are at the end of the video. Me and Sleepyhead will catch you in the next one.